Hey, what's going on? I just got my new bespoke post new box. This one, if you can see, it's a uh, number 1811 Frontier Kit Khaki. So I'm gonna open this up and check it out. I know it's in the box already because I've been looking at the email and it just got delivered today. I was kind of excited about this one. Here it comes with a little pinnel knife, looks like a bottle opener, fountain pen, ink refills, sturdy supplies for your everyday adventures. What's in the bag? So let's open this up. I was excited about this. Not like I need another knife, but you can always use one more, huh? So, oh no, Pinnell. Number eight. You can see that there. Oh, Pinnell number eight. Green in color. I have a number nine, but it's like the typical wood color. It's a razor sharp, man. Super cool. Yeah, panel number eight. Chambry, France. Or I guess it was where it's made. Since 1890. Yeah. Using a GoPro 9. So hopefully you can just focusing on that. So I got this cool knife, pocket knife. Looks like here is a, this must be the fountain pen, Germany, since 1883, Kowekel, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing the name correctly, Nuremberg, Germany, oh yeah, cat likes this, cat approves. Cool. Nice little fountain pen. I like fountain pens too. Oh, pull that off. Unscrew it. Put the ink in here. Comes with six cartridges. It's a royal blue. Cool. So we'll put that to test. Pop one of them puppies in there. inserted. It'll take a minute or two for that water or for the ink to drip down. So I'll leave that sit up here. Oh, I already had one popped out there. So there's actually seven, right? No. No, there wasn't. So six total. Five with a ref or five refills and the original one. This tells you a little brief history of the fountain pens there. Pretty sweet. This I think is a bottle opener. Pretty heavy duty there for a bottle opener. It's got a little bit of weight to it. It's a line of trade. Now, if I was a beer drinker, I'd get a beer and, but I'm not. So, yeah, that's pretty heavy. Nice little leather strap on it, carry strap. Cool. Then we got this writing notebook. The Lloyd Notebook by Ash and Fur. 
192 pages lace flat, acid-free paper, lined grid pages made with responsibility, sourced materials made in China. That's some crap. Check it out. Check out the quality of the paper. So back before COVID hit, uh, we went on quite a few vacations, pretty some pretty cool places, and I uh, never really kept a journal about anything, but sometimes I look back and like, wonder what we did this day or this day, you know, when we were on vacation. So I think with this, I'm going to start a little journal. So when we go on vacations, I use my little fountain pen here and write down what we did. We're headed to uh, Hilton Head, South Carolina here. Uh, about another month we're gonna drive down there and I'm gonna plan on doing some fishing in the ocean on the beach there and um, through some couple creeks try and catch some speckled trout some drum um, some whiting I believe they call it and then uh, try and see if I can do a deep sea charter too and catch maybe a cobia it'd be awesome to catch a cobia anyways Let's see if we got ink in here yet. Oh yeah. Pretty cool. Nice little small small size pen. But when you put the cap on the end, it makes it a little bit bigger. So kind of fancy. Gold colors. Oh yeah, definitely a size difference there. Cool. So this is my second bespoke post box. Um, I got another one last month. And what I got last month was this one. Um, I don't know the exact name of it. But we got this good knife. I was using it yesterday out uh, in the yard. Pulling up some dandelion weeds and putting out a bunch of mulch. But I got this, some charcoal soap, and this little, I guess it's called a bird call. It's kind of cool. Makes sounds of the little Tweety Birds. Birds are usually always chirping in my backyard, so you don't have to locate them. But supposedly, when you're out and about and you don't hear anything, you can use that. Make some noises, and you can hear some Tweety Birds. So, that was last month. So, this is kind of cool, like I said. Got the fountain pen, a notebook, five ink refills, bottle opener, and a French knife. The old Pinnell French knife number eight. Pretty cool. All right, peace out. So I figured I would do a quick show, quick little glimpse of what the knife is. This one's made in Salt Lake City. This is a knife from my last month's bespoke post box. So it's got a serrated edge, super sharp knife blade. It's got a little measuring stick. These increments are in one inch. It's got a pommel on the end. Good wooden handle. It's a hefty knife too. Oh, and another bottle opener because you're always you always need a bottle opener with everything you do. <laughs> but yeah, it's it's super sharp. I was using it yesterday, like I said, to pull out the uh, dandelion roots and stuff. So that's a heavy duty knife. I didn't check it, but I believe these are like one inch increments. Yeah, look at that, so. Cool, cool, cool. Pretty heavy duty. Um, use a little bit to beat on a tree out back, knocks down some brush when I first got it the day after I got it. So I figured we could use this too, too, when it, you're doing some gardening, 
and it says plant down one inch stick it in there do a little hole scoop out the dirt you know some of the seeds you need to go two inches so i'll be using this for my gardening tool this year all right peace out